Hey YouTube, welcome to the IPv4 Subnet Mastery video series. This is video two, where we will introduce you to the cheat sheet that'll help you solve subnetting questions in 60 seconds or less. We will use this cheat sheet throughout the rest of this video series. Let's get started. Rather than just show you the cheat sheet, I'm gonna show you how to draw it. If you're taking a certification exam, you can't bring notes. So being able to quickly write out the cheat sheet is very important. If you just wanna learn how to use the cheat sheet, go ahead and skip to the next video. Otherwise, there are only three steps to drawing the cheat sheet. The first step is to start with 1 and keep doubling until you hit 128. This must be done from right to the left. The next step is to subtract the top row from 256. For example, 256 minus 1 is 255. 256 minus 2 is 254. 256 minus 4 is 252. And so on. When you're done, it'll look like this. Last step is to write out the CIDR notations from right to left, starting at 32 and going down. Start with slash 32 and then continue to slash 31, slash 30, slash 29, and so on. When you're finished, it'll look like this. These three rows make up the subnetting cheat sheet. Using this table, you can solve any subnetting problem in 60 seconds or less. Each row represents something different. The first row I'll refer to as the group size. The second row will be our subnet mask, and the last row will be our CIDR notation. In the next video, I will show you how to use this table to solve for any of the seven subnetting attributes we discussed in video one. When you've learned the method, you'll be able to solve any subnetting question in 60 seconds or less.